Hello guys and welcome back to another Field Notes uh, flip through video. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so this book is actually this one. They sent it as like a free book in um, my last package. I think you got it if you subscribed again and it just so happened that it was the first one in my new subscription. So very cool. I did a bunch of colored pencil scribbles on the front because I thought that looked really cool and I'm pretty proud of myself for it. Um, sometimes at the front of here I like to write all the different places that I use my journal at. I'm sure there's more than that but it's all the times I remembered. Um, so yeah, I'm getting into drawing, excuse me, uh, drawing plants and so I wanted to start the book off with some plants my to-do list. Um, this was at a cafe. They had this really cool plant, so I wanted to draw it. <laughs> it's funny. This was me being like, oh my gosh, I'm going to budget. And I was writing down all my amounts, and then I got really frustrated. And I'm like, why did I think budgeting would be fun? I don't know. But I did. Until it wasn't. And book notes for uh, the book Boundaries. Yep. Um, just random doodles at the cafe. Um, this is a plant also at the cafe. Things I have to do. <laughs> I started reading The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck and it's life changing. Mostly I just, I just want to read it because I care too much about certain things and what people think and I don't want to do that. I don't want to care too much. I want to care about specific things and also draw healthy boundaries uh, where I need to. So, anyways, I just wrote this book is eye opening. Mm -hmm. Notes. I'm just talking about a big breakdown after my budget meeting. Not the most fun thing ever, but this is me like pep talking myself out of it. Oh, so this was cool. Um, I got a book from the library called Agent Nine and the poses in it and the character stuff was super cool. So I just did a little like practice sketches to kind of understand like how they did that and get it in my brain. Yeah, so very inspired by that comic. Beautiful drawings. Um, oh, I'm submitting I have two books that I want to submit to companies. One is about a character book that it's like a activity book you fill out to get to know your character. So I was writing about that. I also have my everything book, but I need to do more pages that are complete on that before I submit it anywhere. So that was just notes on that. Um, yeah. Things to do, notes. I wanted to do a little icons. I'm sorry about the the lighting right now. Feels like it's getting too bright sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I like that drawing. It's very funny. It's freckles. Yeah, I was feeling up in my head. Moments, and I, I just, not a big deal, but good to journal about stuff in the moment. And just talking about my personality and how when I'm, you know, with someone I really care about and something seems slightly off, then I kind of panic. Like, oh no, something wrong. But really, it's like, it's totally fine. So I wanted to be like, Jesus, help me deal with that. And not get so obsessed with and in, in, get in my head about all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, I went axe throwing with my boyfriend and a, another couple. And it was super fun. I I did better than I thought, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, book notes again. Stuff to do. I actually found this really good budgeting app, and it's it's called Expense, and it's beautiful. It's teal and pink, and it's just so easy to add in all your things. So now every time I make a purchase, I'm like almost excited to put it in there, but. Yeah, so that was just all the amounts I needed to add in there from the year. And, um, yeah. Um, 
Oh, at a Bible study I go to, we have like an I will statement. So I wrote it down so I'd remember what to do. And this was journaling, feeling a little bit sad about stuff, but also trying to find the positive in it. Um, yeah, sometimes when I go to leave um, my boyfriend, uh, there's like that moment of like gripping and you're like, no, I don't want to leave, even though you know it's fine and he needs his alone time and I'll be fine. And it was, it's like, <laughs> as soon as I got to the coffee shop afterwards, I was like, oh, I'm fine. And I had a great day. I don't know. Our brains, honestly, just get stuck in these patterns. Um, this was from a book called The Fantastic Tales of Nothing. It is a comic book, and they have these really cool, like, they're called, like, dog horses. Dog, dog, dog horses? I don't know. Anyways, it's basically dogs and horses mixed together, so they ride them like a horse. And they're big like a horse, but they're dogs. I, don't know, I was really into it, so I just sketched out some of the poses that they had just to kind of get it in my brain. So, okay, this hence starts the beginning of my drawing recently. I had watched some videos by Sketchbook School on YouTube. He's got a ton of free stuff um, and really fun exercises. So he was talking about a guy, Peter Arkel, who had a zine about all his coffee sketches. So I thought it would be fun to draw my tea and coffee. Well, not coffee. I don't like coffee. Uh, my tea every single day for a week. And then maybe I'll choose another subject and then do that. So this was a blind contour drawing of my mug. Actually, I have my mug right here. Uh, let's see if I can show it to you. Yeah. Pretty cool. So... I love this mug. And, um, yeah. So I drew it blind contour first. So it's just scribbles. And then I drew, like, an actual drawing of it. And then I also watched some other videos where he had exercises where you just draw little boxes. And you draw things that are near to you. But you don't have to draw the whole thing, right? Like, you can get some really cool framing. So I drew my plant, plant trees and all the little Sawyer bites out of it. It's not good. And they're Sawyer. And this is my pencil case, but I started drawing it like really perspective-y at first, and then my brain just shut off and I drew like most of it flat. So it's like a weird, it's a weird drawing, but oh well. And I did a whole nother page of all these little squares. And yeah, it was really fun. I mean, this is like, pumped me up for life. <laughs> that makes sense. I think just like I got really out of the habit of drawing like mundane things around me or like eat or what's the word? like landscape stuff or things that are not characters basically and doing stuff like this it both gives me a diary of what is around me in that moment so it's great for memories but also just helps me practice things that I never draw. So I think it is a great exercise. Um, my throat's been really off. It's weird. I don't feel sick at all, but my throat and ear hurt. So I wonder if I like scratched it or something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, this was day two of drawing my tea. Um, it was a jasmine tea at the cafe. That was cool. And then I drew some more like square things. This was like the edge of a table of a group of girls who were there for someone's birthday. That was kind of cool. So it's her like <laughs> part of the table. And then this was on my table. I had my mug and my ear pod case and my iPad. So I'm getting very excited. Uh, this was just looking for work stuff and yeah, a little comic of freckles. So there you go. That was May 15th to May 30th. 15 days. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining me. Like this video if you can. Subscribe to my channel if you can. And um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.